brought to you by L&M, the modern cigarette that lets you get full, exciting flavor through the modern miracle of the pure white miracle tip. Live modern. Smoke L&M. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. <laughs> Morning, Dr. Clay. Oh, good morning, Nielsen. You want to see me? No, I never wanted anything less than to call you in here. You got bad news? Yeah, it's been bearing down on me for two days. But you've got to know, Nielsen. I'm not going to make it? Nope. Sooner or later, that bullet in you is going to kill you. Are you sure? Yes, sir, I'm sure. Well, I feel good enough, Doc. You, you could be wrong, couldn't you? Well, I wish I was. I don't know if I'm right in telling you about it, but I treated the same kind of case at Shiloh. And the bullet kept moving, just like yours. And there was no way to stop it. How long did it last? Not as long as you have. You've been going two months since the fight. And how much longer I got, Doc? Well, there's no way to know. Another month, maybe longer, maybe less. I just thought you'd want to know, Nielsen. It's better to know now than when it's too late to do anything about it. Uh, what are you going to tell Alice? What's there to say? Well, with her plan on the wedding, there ought to be some explanation. You, uh, want me to tell her? Just say I changed my mind and I'm heading west. Where are you going? Back to Dodge. To look up the Mailer brothers? If they've killed me, I don't see any reason to let them go on living. Chester, can you force it up a little more? Well, no, not much, Mr. Dillon. I... Come on. Uh... Yeah, that's better. Hold it, then. Well, can it turn loose now? Now, let's just try one more nail. Oh, the only thing that's going to fix this door is a whole new door, Mr. Dillon. There. That'll hold it for a while. Because uh, it would so rotten dry, it won't hold a nail no more. Well, haven't you two given up with that door yet? Oh, hello, Kitty. I gave up a long time ago, Miss Kitty. Matt, Jim Nielsen's back in town. Jim Nielsen? I... Nielsen's dead, Kitty. No, he's not. He's at the Long Branch right now, spreading the word that he's come back to kill the Mailer brothers. Are you sure? I've seen him. I've heard him. Have oh, the Mailer boys heard about it? It won't take long, the way it's getting talked about. Tom Mailer rode up to Clay City, Mr. Dillon, the day before yesterday. Charlie's the only one in town. And I guess I better go see him. What about Nielsen? Well, if he's spreading the word, he'll be where I can find him any time I want. Uh, 
Charlie. Oh. Afternoon, Marshal. Hello, Charlie. What's the trouble? Oh, this blame mare got a rock in her hoof. She won't even let me pick it up. Uh, you want me to hold her for you? No. I'll manage. How are you, Marshal? Oh, I'm fine, Charlie. Fine. Uh, Charlie, did you know that Jim Nielsen was in town? Nielsen? Nielsen's dead, Marshal. Tom did for him. He's not dead. He's back in Dodge looking for you and Tom. All right. He's welcome. Look, Charlie, I know a lot of people are on your side, but there are a lot of others on Nielsen's, and I... I'd like to stop this trouble before it goes any further. It was a fair fight, Marshal. I know it was. Any time Nielsen wants to stand up again against either of us, we'll be ready. It'd be better if you'd stay out of sight until he leaves. I can't do that, Marshal, and you know it. People would say I was a coward. What people say isn't important, Charlie. I don't hide from nobody. Now, the only thing behind that fight was some temper and some strong words. Aren't you man enough to forget it? What are you going to do about it, Marshal? There's nothing I can do if you're set on facing Nielsen. Except try and get him out of town. <laughs> Yourself of old fashioned ideas. Why don't you live modern? Live modern. Live, live, live modern. Free up, freshen up your taste. Smoke an L and M. Only the modern miracle of the pure white miracle tip can bring all of L and M's full, exciting flavor through to you. And that's the big reason why today. More people are changing to L&M than to any other cigarette. Remember, L&M draws easier, tastes richer, smokes cleaner. So live modern. Change to L&M. Make your day your big red letter day and start to live the modern way. Live, live, live modern. Smoke an L&M. It's America's fastest growing cigarette. Well, I didn't expect you'd ever get to Dodge again. Guess you thought I was dead, Marshal, along with a lot of other people. Now, you didn't look very healthy when they took you out of here. Now, I'm still alive, for a little while anyway. What good is it doing you to be back here? Well, everybody figured the fight was over, but I don't happen to think that way. It's a lot of trouble over nothing. You and the Mailer brothers are good men and peaceful ones. You were drinking and there were some names called. But that's sure no reason for you to come back and stir it all up again. They thought they'd kill me, Marshal. And they were proud of it. I don't think they were. Look, Jim. Uh, I'd like it if you'd go back to Abilene. I'm not going to do it, Marshal. I got nothing to go back to nowhere. What does that mean? I'm going to die from that gunfight we had. The bullet's still in me. Oh. There's nothing to be done about it, huh? No. Nope. Nothing but try and settle the score. I don't see how you're going to be any better off trying to kill two good men, Jim. 
Marshal, it's a funny thing knowing you're going to die. I had too much to live for when I faced up to him the first time. I was going to get married. I owned some land. Those were the things I was thinking about. I got scared and tightened up. Man shouldn't have anything to think about in a gunfight. It was kind of hard not to. But I don't have now, Marshal. I don't have a thing to lose. Jim, you're a bad man to have in town. <laughs> I'll be here long. You can count on that. Drink with me, Marshal? No. No. Not tonight, thanks. Nielsen. I hear you're looking for me and my brother. You forget it, Charlie, and get out of here. Where should I get out to, Marshal? You want me to run away, Nielsen? Hold it, Charlie! Is he dead, Marshal? Yeah, he's dead. You satisfied now, Nielsen? It was a fair fight, just like the first one. And just as needless. Not to my way of thinking. Tell me, Marshal, when's Charlie's brother going to get back to town? Chester, what you doing way out here? Mr. Dillon wanted me to stop you before you got up to the plaza. Yeah, what for? Well, Jim Nielsen's waiting for you. Nielsen? Wait. What about my brother? Charlie's dead, Tom. Did Nielsen do it? Charlie come after him. I thank you, Chester. Thank the marshal. Tom, you gonna ride in anyway? I got no place else to go. yourself of old-fashioned ideas. Why don't you live modern? Live modern. Live, live, live modern. Free up. Freshen up your taste. Smoke an l and Live modern. Smoke modern. Smoke l and M. Enjoy full, exciting flavor through l and M's pure white miracle tip. L&M draws easier, tastes richer, smokes cleaner. That's why today more people are changing to L&M than to any other cigarette. So free up, freshen up your taste, live modern, change to L&M. Make today your big red letter day and start to live the modern way. Live, live, live modern. Smoke an L&M. It's America's fastest growing cigarette. Hello, Kitty. I thought you were in Clay City. I was. I did real well, too. I signed up for Charlie and me. Take a pack train clear to Lincoln County. Charlie's dead. Um, can I get you a drink, Tom? Maybe later. I thought Nielsen was here. He left about a half hour ago. Uh, 
happen to know where he went? No. Can't you get your pack train together and go, Tom? No, you know I can't, Kitty. What good's it going to do you looking for Nielsen or waiting for him? It's something I got to do. If he kills you, what are you going to be proving? My brother's dead. Killing Nielsen won't bring him back. Some men ought to be killed, sure, but not you and Nielsen. You're fine men, both of you. My brother was a good man, too. Kitty, what would you have me do? I don't know, Tom. Being the kind you are, and after what's already happened, I, I guess I got no right trying to tell you what to do. Now, do you know if Nielsen figured on coming back here? I don't know, Tom. I'm going to my room. I was just about to order that drink. Then you'll have to have it without me. Thank you for sitting with me, Kitty. Matt, how long have you been here? There's not a thing I can do, is there, Kitty? Not if you don't take the guns away. Yeah, they'd only find more. Then you watch them kill each other, Matt. I can't do it. How long, Chester? It won't be but a few minutes. He was looking for Tom over at the Alphaganza. All right. You get out of sight someplace. Oh, all right, sir. Afternoon, Marshal. Hello, Tom. Look to Tom there. I'm going to ask you to do a brave thing. Will you let me keep your gun for as long as you're in town? No, I won't, Marshal. You and I have been good friends, Tom. I'd like to keep it that way. But you won't do what I say, huh? What would you do with you in my spot? What you're going to do, I guess. Tom, it's a different kind of a fight this time. Nielsen's gonna die from the bullet you put in him two months ago, and he knows it. He's got nothing to lose. I kind of wondered why he come back. That's why. Now, will you either take off your gun or get out of town? I'd like to leave, Marshal. I'd like to be rigging our string of mules with Charlie. But there won't be any more of that. All right. All right, Tom, I told Nielsen, and I'll tell you, from the beginning, this thing has been needless. My mistake was not throwing the three of you in jail right off. Marshal Dillon, have a drink with me. No, thanks, Tom. I'm going back to my office. Goodbye. Nelson, I guess there's no reason trying to talk any sense into you either. It's gone past talking, Marshal. You aren't figuring on stopping me. There's nothing I can do. I'll see you later. such a waste. He, he was a good man. Both of them was. There's no reason for you to feel bad, Matt. You, you tried your very best to stop it. Someday there's going to be a law about carrying guns, and there's going to be fights like these that'll bring it. A man's got the right, Mr. Dillon. They're going to lose it, Chester. This sort of thing doesn't stop. <laughs> Doc, uh, I'll have the body taken away. All right, Matt. I'll be with you if you want me to. Yeah, sure, Chester. I think I'm ready for that drink everybody offered me. Me too. 
You reckon Miss Kitty knows? Uh, by this time, I'd think so. There he is, Mr. Don. Hey, Nelson! Well, you made it, huh? You killed both the Mailer brothers. Yeah? An unfair fight, huh? Yeah. I want to ask you something. Make you feel any better? Tell you the truth, it don't. Our star, William Conrad. Americans today are earning more money than ever before. And smart Americans are planning ahead, too, to preserve prosperity. They're investing part of their paycheck every payday in United States savings bonds. And you can, too, an easy, automatic way. By joining the payroll savings plan and buying savings bonds regularly where you work. With payroll savings... Money is set aside for you by your employer before every payday, in any amount you say. That way, you never plan on the money and never miss it. Payday after payday, these sums grow into savings bonds, and before long, you'll find you have a collection of them. And remember, every Series E bond you buy pays back $4 at maturity for every three. That's right. You get back $4 for every three invested. Help today's higher earning power pay off for you tomorrow. Begin saving regularly with United States Savings Bonds. Join the payroll savings plan. And now, William Conrad. You know, on the frontier, a woman had to scratch pretty hard to make any kind of a home for a man. And next week, a woman who had worked at this for over 20 years finally lets the frontier beat her. And a man dies. But that was the West. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman McDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. The script was specially written for Gunsmoke by Gil Dowd, with editorial supervision by John Meston. The music was composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Ray Kemper and Bill James. Featured in the cast were Harry Bartell, Vic Perrin, Lawrence Dobkin, and Jess Kirkpatrick. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Join us again next week for another specially transcribed story on Gunsmoke.